genuine imported champagne fresh off the boat. Ah. What about us? Oh, yeah. I haven't forgotten you. Here we are. Genuine Elsie the cow, fresh off the farm. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Well, you may not appreciate this, Russ, but your liver will. <laughs> All right, a toast, Jello. No, 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 wait a minute, hold it. I'm the agent who brought you two fellows together. Let me give the toast, eh? All right, Philly boy, go right ahead. We are here to sign the contract marking the 10th annual renewal of Danny's engagement at the Copa Club. 10 prosperous years which started with the purchase of the club by my short friend here. Yeah, as I recall, he was short about 5,000. <laughs> which he borrowed from my mother-in-law. <laughs> However, you've got to admit that he had the good sense to hire for that opening engagement a young comic, unknown and frightened. He wasn't as frightened as the audience. They were paying. <laughs> oh, come on, Bill. Finish the toast. You mean there's okay. more? <laughs> For well, heaven's sakes, Lincoln took less time at Gettysburg. Let's just drink, okay. huh? All right, let's just drink. To us. Right, Clark. Oh, and now, right. if you will step into my office, we'll proceed with the signing of the contract. Sure. Yeah. Party's over. Come on. Get ready for bed. Yeah, okay, Mom. Good night. Bye, Daddy. Good, good night, night, kids. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, uh, Look, I don't know why Charlie and I have to have a lot of legal papers for crying out. Yeah, why can't we just do it with a handshake? That's right. Please, friendship has nothing to do with business. Sign. I've got an appointment. Oh, Charlie's right. You know, I agree with Danny. What well, is with the contract? We trust each other. Now, uh, what's a different sign? Let me read it first. Oh, son. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this over with because I got an appointment. I want to see... I want to see a comic by the name of Al Kay at a place called the Ace of Clubs. Ace, Ace of, of Clubs? Yeah. Hey, hey, isn't that that broken-out joint over on the east side? Yeah, you ever been there? Yeah, it seats about 40 people. If the seats hold up. <laughs> Who, who's Al Kay? Oh, uh, he's... New comic over there, you know, uses that sick material. You know the kind of stuff. An hour after you heard it, you still can't eat. <laughs> oh, One Bill. of those, huh? Do you really have to go? I was just going to serve some coffee. Yep, I've got to sit up with a sick comic. I'll see you up. <laughs> Bye, 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 Agent. Bye. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'll have just a cup of coffee for us, too, and then we're going to have to go. Well, what's your hurry? It's early. Hmm. Well, well, it may be early for you, but in Bunny's condition, she needs all the rest she can get. Uh, yeah. No, it's not me. It's Charlie, really. I get a lot of rest during the day, but he's so doggone tired. You know, he's been working hard at the club, and no matter how late we go to bed at night, he has to get up early. Um, just a smidge of cream, please. Uh, cream, oh, cream, please. all right. Well, I'm sure he doesn't work any harder than Danny does. Danny's always preparing new numbers, rehearsing new routines. Uh, he probably works harder than Charlie. <laughs> Sugar, dear? Well, now, Kathy, sweetie, let's be realistic. I mean, after all, Charlie owns the Copa. Danny just works there. <laughs> <laughs> so? Well, I mean, Kathy, it's a little ridiculous. I mean, after all, uh, uh, Charlie is the employer. Danny is the employee. I think it's a little ridiculous to assume that an employee works harder than an employer. <laughs> I don't see what difference that makes. Well, Kathy, darling. After all, the tail doesn't wag the dog. <laughs> well, now, Bunny, you don't have to be vulgar. Kathy, <laughs> dear, all I'm saying is that, after all, an employer is the person who hires and fires, makes or breaks, or crushes into sawdust any employee he so desires. Bunny, <laughs> <laughs> dear. Employees like my husband are not easily crushed into sawdust because they can pick up a phone and go to work at any nightclub they choose, leaving their employer's nightclub empty, bleak, and abandoned. Honey, you don't have to carry it any farther, huh? Let's just well, forget it. Well, honey, never... let's face it. Without you, the Copa could very quickly become New York's swankiest stable. Now, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, sweetie. Uh, Bunny. Shut up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dear, I am quite sure that there is no one in this entire world who is a more loyal and devoted fan to Danny Williams than I. However, in order to run a successful nightclub, you must be industrious, intelligent, and foresighted, which to me is a far greater accomplishment than getting laughs just because you were born with a comical nose. <laughs> A nightclub on my husband's comical nose. He had enough room to build an entire amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is so happy. After all, Charlie works in 
very, very hard. Hold and it, hold it, it, hold it. What's Danny? What's the matter with you two, for goodness sakes? Well, you, you heard me. You're acting like a couple of kids. Oh, they are the two of you. What's the difference whose husband does what? If our children act like this, you'd send them to bed without their dessert. Yeah, we ought to send them both to bed without their cold train. Shame <laughs> on you. I guess I sounded pretty silly. You you were worse than she was. And you, what are you getting excited? You're not supposed to get excited. You're gonna have a baby. Oh, my gosh. I only hope the baby didn't hear any of this. <laughs> oh, gee, Kathy, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just lost my head. Well, I'm sorry, too, Bunny. I guess we, we both got carried away with pride in our husband's achievements. <laughs> well, we can't hate him for that, can we, tell him? Certainly not. Yeah. Well, I guess I'd better fix some more coffee. I, I ruined yours with all that sugar. <laughs> well, listen, I'll help you, Kathy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> women are sure funny. Yeah. Why can't women be like us? Yeah. And all that fuss just because my job is more important than yours. <laughs> now, you don't really believe that. Well, yeah. I mean, what, what's the difference? There's a lot of difference. What's so important about your job? You must be kidding. No, I'm quite serious. <laughs> and it's like saying, if a man puts on a pair of pants three sizes too big, what's so important about a belt? <laughs> Are you saying that if I wasn't working for you, my pants should fall down? <laughs> Danny, I am not knocking your contribution. But? But! Oh. The owner is the brains, the heart, and muscle of a nightclub. What does that make me? Take any part that's left. <laughs> if you didn't have entertainment, my friend, your copa would be nothing. My club is a New York landmark. Soldier City dump. <laughs> My copa is a showcase. I make stars. Yeah, your copa is nothing. Stars are born. Who would I like to show you? Who would I like? I wish we didn't sign that contract in there. Oh, boy, I would hire that Al K. And in two weeks, people would be saying, Danny Williams, wasn't he that busboy at the copa? <laughs> and if I could get that contract back, buddy, I'd go play at the Ace at Clubs and show you how to make it the most popular spot in town. What do you think of that? That will be the day. Yeah. Well, yeah. we can't prove it, so what's the sense of yelling about it? Why don't we make... I'm glad you're still here. I forgot to get you to initial the billing clause in this contract. I'll oh, have to get fine. You I'll be very happy to initial it. Here. What are you doing? There's my two X's. Just a minute. That isn't legal without my initials. <laughs> Very late last night. Yeah, I know. I never would have believed he could take that joint, the Ace of Clubs, and get it jumping the way it is. You got to do an extra show for the whole other business. Yeah, well, it looks like he made his point, all right. Yeah. Is he taking it big? <laughs> I would say so. Yesterday, he tried to hire a sky rider to fly over Times Square and say, I told you so, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. He proved his point, all right. And all it cost him was his best friend. It's a pity. Yeah, it is. Well, hi, oh. Agent. Sorry, did I wake you up? No, no, I smelled my new contract. You got yeah. it there? Here it is. They've offered you everything but the kitchen sink. That they had to take out to put in more seats. Uh, <laughs> I'd give anything to see Charlie's face when he hears about this. Where do I sign? Bottom of page three. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's a pen. Sorry, this pen only writes with ink. I know you would prefer blood. Charlie's blood. Yeah. What's the big heckle? Charlie won the fight and I'm giving it to him. What are you sore because I'm winning? Oh, no, no, no. We think you're just wonderful. You're, you're the great victor, the all-powerful conqueror. Yeah, go ahead and sign, Genghis Khan. <laughs> what are you giving me, Genghis Khan? What is it with you two? What, are you sore because I took a joint like the Ace of Clubs and made a classy nightclub out of it? No, I'm sore because you took a classy nightclub like the Copa and you're making a joint out of it. What do you mean? I mean the Copa is going broke. The Copa's going broke? Yeah. Oh, come off it, Phil. Variety reported that that new comic opened to a packed house. That's right. But the second night, the new comic ran out of relatives. <laughs> Well, if the kid isn't doing any business, why didn't Charlie let him go? Oh, and get Milton Berle or John Murray or Joey Bishop. That would be too simple. As soon as he did that, he'd prove that you were right and he was wrong. 
So he's going all the way with this sick comic. He's going to prove he can make a hit out of him if he has to take all his jokes and send them to the hospital. <laughs> Come on, sign, will you? I want some fresh air. Danny, you've got to do something. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to call Charlie up and tell him you're sorry this whole thing started. Call it off. I mean, Charlie's your best friend. Haven't you any sentiment? Me? No sentiment? Holy smokes. I cry when I accidentally step on a fly. <laughs> yeah, sure, you cry at fly funerals, but people you swat. <laughs> I'm not buying this, Phil. Now, it's, it's incredible that a, an institution like the Copa could go bankrupt in such a short time. Why is it incredible? With the big overhead that Charlie's carrying, one week's bad business knocks out months of profit. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand it. I what just don't understand it. What am I arguing with you for? Would you please sign the contract? You're the all-powerful conqueror. You crush everything in your path. Go ahead, sign. Oh, Danny, you did it. You actually did it. Oh, I never want to speak to you again. Okay. I'll bring this over to the Ace of Clubs, but uh, don't bother to pay me any commissions on it. How could you be so heartless? Yeah, he's illiterate, too. What do you mean? Look at the way he signed Genghis Khan, C-O-H-N. <laughs> oh, honey, I should have known. Ah, <laughs> you big phony, put in the sign. <laughs> now all I gotta do is get back to the Copa. That's right. But how do I do that? You know, Charlie's pride is not gonna let him back down until he proves his point. Yeah, I got that figured, though. How is it that you're ready to help him? It's because you heard he was in trouble, right? Yeah. Well, if he hears you're in trouble, he'll be ready to help you. That's a good idea. Well, it's a wonderful idea. Except I'm not in trouble. <laughs> AC Clubs is doing a land office business, and he knows it. That's all right. We can tell him that you're papering the house. But we'll tell him that, as a matter of fact, Danny isn't even drawing flies. That the management would give anything they had to be able to break his contract. We'll say that Danny is laying the biggest egg in show business. Let's let him starve. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go out and get dressed? We'll go over and see Charlie as soon as I can fix it. Okay, fine. You, you can help, you know. Me? You can get on the phone and call Bunny and soften her up. Give her a big sob story so she'll go to work on Charlie. Go on, call her. Oh, gee, Phil, I hope it'll work, you know. It's not going to be easy to fool Charlie into thinking that Danny's in trouble. Why not? It was pretty easy to fool you and Danny into thinking that Charlie's in trouble. <laughs> Charlie, will you please stop caressing that money and tell me what are you going to do about Danny? Will you just let me finish counting the weekend receipts? Well, how long do I have to wait? I've been here since a quarter past $3,000. <laughs> I'll be through in a second. I gotta bring this over to the bank after lunch. Oh, boy, that steak smells good. Mm -hmm. Will there be anything else, sir? Mm, just tell Lillian Russell Diamond Jim's going to be a little late today. <laughs> Charlie, how can you eat after the things that I have told you about Danny? Do you know that he may have to pawn Kathy's jewelry in order to pay their debts? Terrible, terrible. Hmm. And do you know they may have to let go of their maid after all these years? Just terrible. And on top of that, Danny may have to cash in his life insurance. It's terrible. You bet it's terrible. It sure is. A waiter brings in a steak and forgets ketchup. <laughs> honey, honey, look. Don't you think I check my competition? The Ace of Clubs is... Packed every night. Danny is doing great. I'm doing great. He doesn't need me, and all I need is some ketchup. Charles Halper, if you think you are going to eat while I am talking to you, you have another thing coming. You stole my steak. Do I get some attention? You want me to call a cop? You know there's a law against steak snatching? <laughs> Charlie, do you know why Danny is doing such great business at the Ace of Clubs? Give me back my steak. Charlie, I will tell you why Danny is doing such great business. Every night he is packing the place with his friends and picking up the tabs. He's going broke trying to prove that he doesn't need you or the Copa. Do you hear me, Charlie? Your best friend is going broke. Really? Really. I mean, this is on a level? It's on the level. Now you can eat your steak. <laughs> now when I can't eat, she wants me to eat. <laughs> 
such a great entertainer. How could he flop? Charlie, I can stand stupidity, but I cannot stand a man without brains. Charlie, look. <laughs> Danny cannot be great in a dive. Danny needs a, a, a glamorous setting like the Copa. What can I do to help poor Danny? I, I, I want to talk to Phil. That's a good idea. I want to talk to Phil. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Phil. <laughs> Phil, Phil, I want to talk to you. It, it's very important. Well, sure. Can you come right over? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I told him everything. He's all yours. Look, Charlie, I got the poor fella outside. I, I told him to drop by here and say hello to you just for old time's sake. Oh, he is in bad shape, Charlie. Well, well, well we got to do something, Phil. Tell me, what can I do to help? Oh, we got to do something because he has gone broke trying to prove that he was right and you were wrong. Oh, well, we'll, we'll bring him in. We'll shake hands and I'll put him back in the show tomorrow night. No, 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 you can't do it that way, Charlie, huh? because he's got his pride. his pride. If you can only figure out some way to make it seem as though you need him. You I, see, if I you do him. something, you say something like maybe... You're going bankrupt. I'm going you know? bankrupt? Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hey, you see? Yeah. And, if you, and if you could tell him something like, like, if he doesn't come back to work he for you, you're out of business. I'm out of business? Yeah. I'm out of business. And, and you need him to I keep your him. creditors off I your need back. Him to keep my creditors off my back? Good for you. Yeah. Good thinking, yeah. Charlie. Yeah. Oh, oh, Charlie. Oh, you're a wonderful little man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Look, I'll tell you what. We'll go out and we'll send Danny in. We'll leave him alone with Danny. Yeah, okay. Come on. I, I need him. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here, it looks like you're living like a king. I, I know what. We'll file this away. You can eat it later. Oh, yeah, file it under S so under I can S. find it. Charlie, get all that money out of the way. Oh, the money, yes. No the money's for a broken Look poor. Put it away. Yeah, we'll move on Hello, Mr. Halper. <laughs> what, Mr. Halper? Charlie! Come on, Danny, sit down. You're very nice to see me, Mr. Uh, uh, Charlie. <laughs> Danny, it's very nice of you to drop by to visit me. How, how's business at the Ace of Clubs? Oh, we, last night we did twice as good as the night before. Oh? We had two customers. <laughs> two customers? What's a customer? <laughs> you mean your business is bad? Yeah, I gotta admit it's fallen off a bit, like 160%. <laughs> You, you care for a cigar, Dan? Oh, thank you, thank you. Like... <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing? I thought I'd save half for after dinner. like old times, isn't it, Charlie? No, Danny, not like old times. In old times, you worked here, not... you didn't just visit. Yeah. Those were the good old days. Look, what Danny, I if I would've... <coughs> what, what, what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, there's no use kidding. I'm, I'm headed for bankruptcy. Yeah, I... I've completely forgotten what Mooney looks like. Mooney? Who's Mooney? Mooney, what people use to pay their checks with. You mean money? You see, I even forgot what it sounds like. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Williams. Nice to see you oh, again. How are you, Danny? Nice to see you. I'll be out of your way in a second, Mr. Albert. Oh, uh, no, 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 don't bother at all. Leave it, just leave it alone. It's, uh... Well, I've got to give this trash to the garbage collector. No, no, no. <laughs> if, you, if you do that, we'll have every garbage collector in town on our front step. <laughs> just let it go. You're getting excited about it. Let her throw the trash out. Sure, I'll bring the basket right back. No, no, please. I don't want it to throw out the trash. I want to keep it. Call me sentimental. I love trash. <laughs> 
Sorry, you're always making jokes. Why, nobody likes trash. I'm not joking. I love trash. Why don't you give her the candy? But I love trash. I, I don't oh. I'm, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Look at all the money. It's, uh... <laughs> It's not real money, it's, it's stage money. We use it in the show. Oh, my grandchildren just love to play with stage money. <laughs> no! It's only stage money, let her have some. Well, then, um, uh, uh, take, take one. What, what one? Here's a handful. Oh, but my <laughs> grandchildren have a wonderful time playing Monopoly with this. <laughs> Boy, it sure looks real, Charlie. Yeah, doesn't it look real? <laughs> sure <it> does. <laughs> Hey, you know what would be a great gag? I'd go over to Lindy's and light a cigar with this $100 bill. The boys would pass out, wouldn't they? <laughs> I'd pass out, too. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see how that goes. She looks so real. Hey, you got a match? A, a, a match? Yeah, I, I, I want to light my cigar with it. I think it would be a, a cute thing. Here, let me a match. Um, <laughs> Uh, da Danny, you know, I tell you the truth, the big bills don't burn so good. Why don't you use a small one? <laughs> it's the difference is only stage money. It's not real. Looks real, but it certainly can't be. Not a business as bad as you say. Here, light yeah, it's, it up. It's not, it's not real. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> you can open your eyes now. <laughs> you big phony. Yeah. What are you putting on an act for me for? I had to put on an act. You, Why? Because you were such a stubborn mule, you'd never come back unless you thought I needed you. Something strange here. I'm putting on an act, too. What? Business is great at the Ace of Clubs. Great? Packing them in every night. I'm doing great. Yeah, when you came in, you said everything was so bad. You're two customers and, and, and you were... It was because Phil said you needed me. Well, Phil said you needed me. Oh, oh, just light it up. <laughs> well, he's right, you know. We do need each other. But for a lot more important reasons than money. But I'm doing great, and you're doing great. Yeah. And the cleaning woman did better than both of us. <laughs> <laughs> until you gave the profits to the cleaning woman. <laughs> oh, say, Mr. Halper, I've got a lot of grandchildren, and I was just thinking this isn't going to be enough for all of them. <laughs> Can I have some more? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll take this back. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> and, and you come back tomorrow, and I'll give you a whole batch of stage money that'll choke a horse, and $1,000 bills, too. Yeah, it'll be real stage money, not phony like this. Well, say thanks. <laughs> oh, and Jenny, in, in the meantime, you get something for the kids, huh? Oh, thanks, Mr. Halper. You're the most generous boss I ever had. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I would. You're a genuinely generous man, Charlie. Bad man. Anybody ever calls you a tightwad in front of me is going to have a fight on his hands. <laughs> no, I don't mean because you slipped Jenny a double saw, but... I mean, that you were willing to actually burn up all that money just to preserve our friendship. Mm, you were willing to burn your nose. <laughs> well, have I got my job back? Are you kidding? <laughs> Come on, I'll take you to lunch. Oh, uh, wait a minute. After that big buildup about how generous I am? Oh, no, you're my guest. Okay. Lunch is on me. Fine, where'll we go? What go? <laughs> 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 